Welcome to our ultimate radio controlled car build tutorial brought to you by LTM. Today we will guide you through a process of creating your own high performance RC car using top quality components. Let's look at the required components first. We have selected the Flysky FSI6 transmitter and receiver for precise control. It allows us to control our robot at a max distance of 1 km. Now, for controlling the robot, I have selected the powerful ESP32 microcontroller for advanced feature for future use. And to control the motors, we have selected L2980 motor driver board for its efficient motor control. Our platform of choice is the DF Robot Tank Mobile platform for robust mobility. You may have seen this in one of my previous videos as well. First, let's start with the chassis assembly. Every piece is perfectly packed and labeled by DF Robot. DF Robot have also provided a proper manual to assemble all parts with pictures. Assembling the robot is quite easy, but it still takes some time. So here is a time lapse of the assembly process. Sit back, relax and enjoy the process. Now let's talk about the sponsor of this video. LTM software provides a seamless experience for designing a custom PCBs. Its user-friendly interface and powerful tools make it a go-to choice for engineers and hobbyists. With LTM, you can create complex PCB layouts with ease, ensuring optical performance and reliability for your projects. There is a special offer in the end of this video for you from LTM, so stay tuned. Next, we have to prepare the motherboard for the robot. For this, we need a general purpose PCB. A microcontroller, in my case, it's ESP32. A receiver for radio. I soldered female jumper headers to the PCB so that I could fix my ESP32 on top. Then kept some male headers in parallel to it 
for connecting the radio receiver. Next, six motor driver input wires and two power wires are soldered to the ESP32. If you want, you can pause the video and check the diagram. Once done, it's time to connect the motor driver to the motors. There are two sets of black and red wires included with the DF robot kit. Use those to connect the motors to M1 and M2 connector of the L2989N port. Now, screw the ESP32 as well as the motor driver onto the chassis using nut and bolts. And now we can connect the motor wires also. Now we need to connect the channel 2 and channel 4 of the radio receiver to the ESP32 digital pins using jumper wires. Now we need to solder wires to the button and the battery connector on the top piece of the chassis so, so that, that our robot can get power. Now insert the batteries and paste the battery holder on the chassis and let's close the chassis. I have given the code on my website and the link to that particular page is provided in the description. You can check that out. Once done, you are good to go. Now let's run this bad boy. First power on the robot, then we can power on the transmitter. The right top down stick will be used for forward and backward motion. and it, it can also control the motor speeds left side left right stick is used to turn it around the robot is working perfectly fine and the chain design provided by df robot allow it to drive on multiple terrains and the robot looks awesome this time we used a general purpose PCB because we didn't have a lot of components to build. But in the next build we will be integrating cameras and servos to this robot and then we will need a dedicated custom PCB for this. There we will need LTM superpowers. LTM PCB layout tools allows you to place components precisely and route traces efficiently, reducing signal interference and improving performance. With LTM support, you can create a high-performance radio control car. Visit yes. LTM's website to learn more about their cutting-edge PCB design software. And you can also get one month free using the link which is provided in the description of this video. So this was it for today. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you really love it, then hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.